Hey, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper 32 of November 2021 of A Level Math, paper 3, obviously. Uh, now, with that being said, let's move on to the questions that I have for you. So, let's move on to question number one. So, here we have to find the value of x for which this equation is true. Give your answer in this form where a and b are integers, meaning whole numbers, right? We have to know this definition. Now, one by one, how would you solve this? So the main goal here is to make x become your subject. But as you can see here, we have x on top as a power. So we have to use ln on both sides. So apply ln on both sides. Ln of this thing over here. Ln of 7x. Now simplify. Let's see what happens. That will become ln of 3 plus ln of 2, 1 minus x. Now, we can uh, try to bring the x down here by the laws of log. For example, this will be the same. It will not change for now. And this will become 1 minus x ln of 2. That will be x ln of 7. Because we have to know if you have ln of a power x, we can bring the power down. You see the same thing as saying x ln of a. That's something we have to know to solve this equation. Now, we have to simplify expand. That will become ln of 3 plus ln of 2 minus x ln of 2 is x ln of 7. Now ln of 3 plus ln of 2, send this one over here will be x ln of 7 plus x ln of 2. Now simplify, let's see what happens. Now because these two are the same, can combine them together, you will have ln of 3 times 2 will be 6. Here we can factorize, that should be x and ln of 7 plus ln of 2. Now similarly, this is also the same. Can combine them, should be ln of 14. Now finally, x becomes subject. That should be ln of 6 over ln of 14. Where well, the value of a and b is 6 and 14, they are integers. And this is your question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to solve this equation. Now where a is a positive constant. So the first thing we do realize here is that we have modulus on both sides and x on both sides. When this is the case, we just square both sides as our first step. Now we have to know how to expand this. That should become 3x minus a square more than 2 squared is 4 times x plus 2a square. Expand, you will have 9x square minus 6ax plus a square. More than 4, that should be x square plus 4ax plus 4a square. That should be 9x square minus 6ax plus a square more than 4x square plus 16ax plus 16a square. Now send everything to one side. Um, 9 minus 4 is 5. Minus 6 minus 16, that should be minus 32. Sorry, this is just a big mistake. So minus 6, minus 6 should be minus 22, but let's double check. Why not? There you go, minus 22. AX, and here we have just the value of minus 15 A squared. is more than 0. Now once you come to this step, we have to um, try to find the critical values of this equation. Now this is a simple quadratic equation. Critical values is 5 X squared minus 22ax minus 15a squared equal to 0. Now you can solve this by using um, the formula as well. It's up to you. Uh, but I will give it a try to solve by using factorization. 5x squared is 5x times x. 15 is 1 times 15, or it could be 3 times 5. So what can I do here? I can try 5 over here and 3 over here. To get minus 22, I have to have minus 25 and plus 3. So confirm this is the right factorization by looking at plus times minus is minus, and here we have minus, so good to go. So x will be the value of minus 3 over 5. x will be the value of 5. So these are the critical values of that equation. Of course, something don't forget here is obviously because here we have a squared, that should be a and a. That should be a and a over here. Don't forget that. So finally, we have to use the number line to help us find the answer. 
This is minus 3a over 5, and this is 5a. Now, because this is positive over here, we understand it will have a minimum shape, something like this. This is the line of 0, so we require the condition needs this to be more than 0, so above this one, write more, have to be on this side and this side. Therefore, we confirm, well, x have to be less than minus 3 a over 5, or x have to, be, have to be more than more than 5a. This is your answer for question number 2. So one more time, very simple, we just have to understand because you have modulus on both sides, and you have x on both sides, we have to square both sides. That's the first step, and eventually you will have a quadratic equation, you have to find the critical values, solve by factorization or using your formula and then you have to use a number line too to find the corresponding values that satisfy your main equation right here more than zero and this is your question number two the description below and click on this link to access the patreon page for the full video with that being said good luck and thank you for watching